What I've enjoyed most about being a doctor is being able to see the application of technology, of science, to improving people's lives. I do this work because I want to make children's lives better. I've worked with children in all different settings and seen children who were sick or needed help and at the time I wasn't able to do that and so I've gone through the process of learning about medicine so that I can be somebody who improves their lives. Lucille Packard has always been a very interesting institution to me. I was a volunteer there myself when I was a student uh, long before I went into uh, either technology or healthcare. And so when HP wanted to go work more closely with Lucille Packard, I jumped on it. A real landmark moment in healthcare was in 1999 when the Institute of Medicine released its very famous report to Air as Human. What that suggested is that medical errors account for 100,000 deaths on an annual basis. And that's just not acceptable. So for more than 10 years, people have been trying really hard to make things radically better. And the sad truth is we haven't been able to do a whole lot. I think it's hard sometimes as a layperson to recognize just the quantity of data that we generate during the course of natural patient care. In the intensive care unit, we have patients who are very sick, so we're getting a constant stream of data with their heart rates, their respiratory rates, how fast the medications are going into them, how many milliliters of fluid they're getting into their body and how much is coming out. So it's a constant stream of data that we need to watch and monitor. We're clearly on a journey as a nation towards automating healthcare with electronic medical records. And yet, one of the challenges is that they're so data rich and information poor. Hewlett Packard's expertise lies in analytics and the ability to make sense of data. How do you take very complex information and then how do you make it so that incredibly busy people can consume it very quickly? One of our first partnerships with Hewlett Packard was to sift through 13 million pieces of data on 40,000 patient encounters to understand what data in our electronic health record is predictive of patients who need intensive care. The next step in this partnership was to bring that knowledge to bear in the clinical setting. So this is where the dashboard comes into play. So the dashboard originally started out as essentially a replacement for the whiteboards that are in hospitals on nursing units everywhere. You know, patient names, what room they're in, which nurse is taking care of, that sort of stuff. And we said, well, if we put that in electronic form, then we can also put some other stuff in there. The dashboard brings information from the respiratory therapist, from the nursing charting, from the physician documentation, from the specialists, into a central location so that when the team rounds, they have all the relevant information they need to make a decision for that patient's plan of care. There's a whole bunch of subtle things that are often deep inside the chart that now turns into whether a light is red or yellow or green. So one night when we were testing the dashboard for one of the patients, there was a red indicator saying that his central line dressing hadn't been changed at the appropriate time. He had had his special IV placed at the previous hospitalization. He had gone home. There was an appointment set up for a nurse to come to his house and change the dressing, but then he got readmitted to the hospital. Now it had been four days since his dressing change was supposed to happen. The dashboard brought that up and showed that his dressing change was late. Nobody else had realized it. Now the first thing I do when I walk into a unit is look at the multi-patient dashboard. It gives me a quick overview of how sick the unit is and who I need to pay attention to. The dashboard project is just the beginning. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished as partners with Hewlett Packard and I think that if we can take what we've learned and share it with other hospitals and healthcare organizations across the nation, we'll really rescue thousands of lives and improve the quality of care.